Okay, so, um, I've already been singing through this part, it looks really crazy. Um, I am somewhere in Arizona, and I just wanted to give, um, just from what I've experienced, some tips and uh, reasonable expectations to have when traveling on Amtrak. If you're anybody like me, um, bougie is not the right word. Um, but anyways, all right, definitely don't wear flip-flops. <laughs> um, I brought flip-flops, but I will not be wearing my flip-flops at any point in time in the trip. Um, food. Okay, bring your own food. So for the most part, I eat fairly clean 90% of the time. Um, and there's just no clean option. Like, I mean, legit, everything is microwaved. Um, it's been the same special every single night, or it's been Salisbury, is it Salisbury, Salisbury, or steak and uh, mashed potatoes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to have your attention, please. Mm. We are now departing Winslow, Arizona. Okay. So, um, yeah, anyway, so I eat clean, and, uh, the, every night they've had a special and it's been the Salisbury steak with uh, mashed potatoes or baked potato I got baked potato the first night I should have taken a picture but everything is microwaved and not that there's anything against um, any of that because a lot of people are quite pleased with their food um, but it's definitely not a clean diet so if you're sensitive to uh, eating chemicals then um, I suggest you bring your own and I packed like two gluten free um, like one with bagel chips the other one with like Ritz crackers and that's pretty much all I ate yesterday and I tried to do the dinner thing and um, yeah um, also at dinner they seat you with strangers so that's just a FYI if you don't like people or strangers or don't want to talk to them then um you might want to request to sit somewhere else or just not not do dinner maybe you could bring it back to your room I don't know I don't know how that works because I really don't have a problem with strangers like that unless they're really weird and creepy and even they're interesting um what else uh, the bathroom I, I know I said that in my last video but the bathrooms um <laughs> they're um they're not the cleanest thing in the world. They're kind of like uh, airplane, um, what are they called? Lavender? Lawn? Lawn? Whatever. Bathrooms. I can't think of the word. Anyways, um, they're kind of like that. You know, there's really no water in the toilet. And I actually brought my little poopery uh, to, I mean, just because, you know, you want to be respectful of other people's nostrils. And so I brought my little poopery, but there's no water in the toilet, so it didn't really matter. Um, so that's that. Also, it's very, very small. Oh, I did say, from now on, I'm going... Oh, I, I need to look at this. From now on, I'm going to bring my own toilet paper, only because um, I don't trust loose toilet paper that's just kind of everywhere and then so close to the toilet. And actually, yesterday, last night, I dropped a roll of toilet paper. Was that this morning? I dropped a roll of toilet paper into the toilet, um, which made me think that maybe there's other people who've done that and think that it's okay just to take it out because there's technically no water in there. Um, but yeah, I don't play those games. So anyways, um, from now on, whenever I do take an Amtrak train, I'm going to bring my own toilet paper. Also, I completely forgot to bring hand sanitizer, um, so I'd highly recommend that, even though that's kind of like a duh. Um, I brought Lysol the spray Lysol for, you know, the toilet. So here's the thing. Um, if anybody's ever actually read how to sanitize something by using Lysol, um, it's like you have to you spray it on the surface and wait like 10 minutes. Okay, well, if I just go... Please, uh, please, could you go to I... Okay, so if I go and spray the toilet, I'm not going I to... I see. Uh, I'm not going to stand in the bathroom for 10 minutes and um, wait for all of the bacteria and viruses to kill themselves. So um, I guess another idea would be 
to spray it and then leave and then go back in 10 minutes. Either way, just FYI, I know a lot of people who will do the spray and then wipe it, but that's really not doing anything because you're not sanitizing anything. Um, so I think maybe next time I'll bring like the bleach wipe because I think that might be 30 seconds and then, you know, whatever happens to my skin happens. <laughs> I'll take one for the team. Um, hmm. Oh, another thing. So, I'm obviously a woman, and I'm traveling by myself, and I got off at the um, at one of the stops that we made, I believe in Albuquerque, and typically they don't put these train stations and bus stations in the most ideal part of town for a single woman, and I went in there to get a toothbrush, and um, this guy wanted to start a quarrel with me because he thought that I skipped him in line and that's when I determined that perhaps getting off of the train was not the best idea for me. But that's just me and I'm probably a way bigger scaredy cat than a lot of other people. Um, but yeah, I feel pretty safe on the train um, so I just, I don't have to get off of the train. So that was, um, that's something I learned. I just won't do it again if I'm by myself. If I'm with other people then no big deal. Um, what else? Okay, the shower thing. So, I thought that the shower was in the, um, the restroom that I told you was kind of like, eh, and it's really, really small, so I just said, you know what? I will not be showering. Um, and I don't care. 35 hours, what's the worst that can happen? Well, apparently there's bigger bathrooms or showers, um, downstairs. And so I have yet to explore that, but I think I will tonight. Um, and again, I have every intention on letting you guys know. Um, but either way, I mean, honestly, I really am enjoying myself. I, I am the type of person where on a normal day, I itch to look at my phone. I mean, just out of habit, not because I'm eager to really see anything, but I'm just looking at my phone all day, every day, my iPad for work all day, every day. And you would think that with 35 hours of, I mean, kind of nothing to do, that I would be going bonkers and crazy. And I cannot express how it is the absolute opposite. I've enjoyed my, my ride, I've enjoyed my room, um, I've enjoyed my my space. Um, I've enjoyed my uh, scenery. The scenery is just absolutely wonderful because typically when you fly in a plane, um, you skip over everything in the middle. You're going from your busy life on one end, and then you fly across the country only to go to your busy life right there, and then you miss all the beauty and the glory in between. And it really is majestic. And I don't want to sound cheesy. But it's the truth. It really is majestic and I almost feel like I've gotten lost with time. I'm not stressed at all. Um, it's, it's a very enjoyable experience. And so, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're feeling a little adventurous, you've got a little bit of time, um, got a couple of dollars, because I would definitely highly recommend getting a roommate at the very least. I haven't gone to coach yet. But just hearing, you know, the people talk at dinner, they get a chair. And I'm like, 35 hours in a chair, that sounds a little less enjoyable, but people do it. So I guess it can be done, which is my, exp my experience. Um, I probably wouldn't do this without um, having a roommate, but it is something that I, I highly encourage. Um, and I think we all kind of know that Amtrak runs at a deficit, so it's really not a profitable, um, I don't know industry uh, so just understand that yeah you'll be paying a decent amount of money and you might feel like maybe you're not getting your money's worth because you know maybe the attendant doesn't come as soon as you hit the little button and the light goes off and maybe the bathroom's not always clean but at the end of the day it is a beautiful option to have and that I can appreciate and I really 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 do hope that more people um, you know do see this as an alternative to driving and not always going straight to the air. Um, I mean, I just hope it gets more funding. So let me know if you have any more questions. Hopefully I'm trying to be as detailed as I can be. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you later.